Hello, I'm J.D. Cannon. Welcome to the world of MCA DiscoVision. We've devoted years of effort to the development of this amazing communication system. Very sophisticated in design, but quite easy to operate. A video disc the size of a 12-inch LP contains up to 54,000 individual frames of still pictures or printed information. Should you choose to play the video disc straight through, it can bring you a half hour, or for extended play discs, up to a full hour of high-quality television. A powerful feature of the MCA Optical Disc Vision Player is that it enables you to search out and have instant access to any of the 54,000 images on the video disc. You have the flexibility to play back video disc programs in the sequence and at the pace you select. Disc Vision let you be the boss. Now, this program has been prepared to show you everything you need to use your MCA DiscoVision model PR7820 player. It's divided into four parts. Part one demonstrates the basic operating features of the player. Part two on troubleshooting illustrates some checks you can make if you're experiencing any problems with your player. Now, if you're interested in using the DiscoVision player's memory functions, you'll want to watch parts three and four on the other side of this disc. Part three describes the use of the frame number storage registers. And part four will give you an overview of how to use the programming capabilities of the player's microcomputer memory. To begin playback of a disc, turn the player power on, open the cover by pressing this button, Place the disc on the spindle. Now, to secure the disc firmly on the spindle, simply press these two projecting ears until both audibly click and remain in the retracted position. Then, with the cover closed, use the play button to start. It's located either here on the player panel or here on the remote control unit, sometimes called the touchpad. You can operate the player either with the controls on the front panel or with the remote control unit which duplicates the front panel controls and, in addition, incorporates a numerical keypad and the keys used to enter programs into the player's memory. Now, most persons find it more convenient to use the remote control, which can be wireless or can be connected to the player with a cable. Now, to connect the cable, simply plug one jack into this outlet of the remote control unit and the other into the outlet on the front of the panel. If the remote control unit is to be wireless, Remember that you have to aim it in a clear path toward the player. Now, this red light comes on to let you know that the player is receiving the signal from the remote. Now, when you finish playing a disc, press the reject button on the player panel or on the touchpad. Now, pressing reject stops the rotation of the disc and returns it to the park position. To remove the disc, Grasp the spindle spool with your index and third fingers and gently pull up as you press down on the center shaft with your thumb. You'll hear a click, and the disc may then be removed. Now I'd like to show you some of the valuable things your MCA DiscoVision system lets you do. Oh, by the way, the picture you'll see on my TV screen will not be nearly as good as the picture you'll get on your video discs. This loss of quality is just something that happens when you take a picture of a television picture. Your video discs will deliver an excellent picture. Now, as I was saying, the DiscoVision player gives you many special capabilities. First, you can stop the action, freeze it at any point. You simply press the stop button. One single frame of picture is now held on the screen for as long as you want. While you're stopped, you can step ahead or back, looking at individual frames or pictures one at a time. Use one of the step buttons, step forward, on the right side of the touchpad, step reverse on the left. Now here's step forward. And step reverse. Now in just a moment, I'll give you a chance to try these for yourself, but a couple of other things first. Now after I've stopped the action, I start the program again by pressing play. You can also watch video disc programs in slow motion, either forward or reverse. Right button for forward, left for reverse. 
By the way, notice that the sound cuts off when you're running at anything other than normal speed. So that you can control the rate of slow motion, we've incorporated a speed control slide on the player panel. You can adjust it to speed the picture up or slow it down. Now it's your turn to practice using the controls I've just shown you. I'm going to give you a short piece of sports film to practice with. You're going to practice using these buttons. Stop, play, slow, forward and reverse, and step, forward, and reverse. I'll be careful not to press any of the other buttons till we've explained them. You can also try out the slow motion speed control slide. When you're through practicing, press the play button, and I'll return to the screen shortly. Okay, go ahead with your practice. Take as much time as you want, you're in control. I'll be back in about 30 seconds at the end of the sports scene. How about that? Pretty easy, isn't it? And it gets even easier the more you use it. Now, the next feature I want to show you is the audio channels. These two buttons labeled audio one and two control the sound. Now the disc has two separate high fidelity audio channels. When you turn the player on, both channels come on simultaneously. But by pressing either audio one or two, you can listen to only one soundtrack at a time. The two audio channels make it possible to have instruction or sales material in two different languages, or a lesson for students on one and a guide for instructors on the other. The lesson on my TV has English on audio one and Spanish on audio two. Now, to hear only the English, I just turn off audio two, like this. The bowler's knot, the sailor's knot for tying a loop at the end of the line. Imagine a dog chasing a rabbit through the hole and around the tree. To hear the Spanish version, I turn off audio one, like this, and punch on audio two. Another feature of the DiscoVision system that you'll find extremely useful is the frame numbers. Now, every one of the 54,000 frames or pictures on the disc has its own number. You can have the frame numbers displayed on the television screen by pressing frame display. Press once for on, once again for off. Now you can see that better if I stop the action and step through some frames. Notice that each frame advances the number by one. Now these numbers are like pages in a book. You can use them to find the particular place you're looking for. No need to watch an entire program in a pre-designated sequence. Now suppose you want to find a particular segment of a video disc program. How can you get there in a hurry? One way to do it is to use the scan buttons, which are like fast forward, fast reverse controls. You'll notice that the scan buttons on your touchpad each have two labels. The deck reg and input labels describe functions used in the programming mode and can be disregarded unless you're entering a program into the computer memory. Now when the disc is playing at normal speed, or even slow motion, you can move very quickly across the disc by depressing one of the scan buttons. Scan forward on the right side. Scan reverse on the left. Used like this, it takes only five seconds to cross the entire disc from beginning to end. But if the picture is stopped and you press the scan buttons, you move more slowly across the disc like this. It takes about two minutes to cross the disk at this speed. The scan controls give you a way to visually search out a section of a program you're looking for. There's another way that is, in fact, a much more precise method for locating an exact place you want, and it's convenient, too. It's done with the search button. To use search, you have to know the exact frame number to which you want to go. 
You then punch in that frame number or address on the touchpad, press search, and the machine takes you instantly to the location you requested. DiscoVision gives you immediate access to any frame on the disc. Now, to demonstrate, I've made up an index to this show on ski racing. The index is my table of contents. It tells me where different sections of the program begin. Now, let's say I'm interested in watching the part where the race begins. I find from my index that this section begins at frame number 26,324. To look at that part, all I have to do is enter the frame number, then command the player to search. Now, you enter the number just like dialing a push-button telephone. Two, six, three, two, four, search. Now, the player instantly searches to the frame I ask for and stops there. It holds this frame on screen until I press play to start the action. Now, if you should make a mistake when you're entering the numbers, simply press the clear button and start over. So, with the frame address and the search button, you can go to any single frame on the disk instantly and precisely. Now, this random access capability gives you many options. You can create interactive programs that branch in many different directions, depending on the viewer's response to the questions posed on the video disk program. With an index that tells you where program sections begin, you can watch those segments you wish to see in the sequence you select. Now, I'd like to give you some practice in using the search function. Now, don't press any buttons yet. You'll get a chance in a minute. Just listen for a moment while I describe what you're going to do when the practice session begins. First, you'll stop the action by pressing stop. Then you'll call up the frame number using the frame display button. When the frame number appears on your screen, write it down on a piece of paper so that you won't forget it. It's the frame you're going to return to after you practice searching to another part of the disk. Without it, you won't be able to find your way back. Then you'll punch in a frame number. For the practice section, you can punch in any number up to 40,000. Then you press search. The machine will take you directly to the frame number you requested. You can even practice searching out several frame numbers until you get the feel of it. And when you want to come back to this part of the program, punch in the number you wrote down on the piece of paper, press search, and you'll be right back where you started. Press play to resume the program. OK. In a moment, a card will come up on your screen reviewing the directions I just gave you. As soon as the directions come on, press the stop button, take a minute to read the instructions carefully, then begin your practice. You found me again. Welcome back, and congratulations. As you've just seen, with a frame address and search button, you can go to any single frame on the video disk instantly and precisely. The controls we haven't yet illustrated are used for entering a program, which is a series of operational commands, into your disk of vision's computer memory. The use of these controls will be explained on the other side of this disk. Well, now that we've reviewed the most basic operating features of your MCA disk of vision player, you can see that it's a versatile and easy to operate communications tool. And by the way, with a splitter, you can play up to four television receivers using a single disc of vision player. You can even use this professional device to play back entertainment disc made for the consumer model video disc players. Using your MCA disc of vision system is easy and trouble free. But should you experience any problems, the next section on troubleshooting will give you a few tips on how to handle them. Now, here are some simple things you can check if you're having a problem with the player. First, if the disc won't rotate, check these things. Is the player plugged into the wall outlet? Is the power switch turned on? Is the disc firmly clamped on the spindle? When you pressed in the ears on the spindle, did you hear it click? Is the lid completely closed? Make sure the cover open light is not on. Next problem. The disc rotates, but no picture appears. Check these things. Is the TV set turned on? Is the TV tuned to the same channel as the channel selector switch on the side panel of the player? Is the cable properly connected from the player to the TV set? Is the disc installed correctly? Well, the label side should be up. 
Incidentally, if you're playing consumer or entertainment discs, the label side should be down. Now, here are things you can check if you have a distorted or poor quality picture. As before, check the channel setting on the player and TV, the cable connection, and whether the disc is installed right side up. Try making an adjustment to the fine tuning of the TV set. If you're using channel three, try switching both player and TV set to channel four or vice versa. Change to another video disc. If the problem clears up, you'll know that it was the disc at fault, not the player. Finally, several minor problems. A picture that sticks in one spot or jumps backward is usually caused by a flawed area on the video disc. Move past the bad area by tapping the scan forward button very briefly. On some discs, you may occasionally get a flicker when you stop the action. You can reduce or get rid of this effect by stepping forward or back a few frames until you find the one that holds steady. If the remote control unit isn't operating properly, check the battery. You may need a new one. The battery is a standard 9-volt transistor battery and is easily replaced by sliding open this door on the back of the remote control unit. Now, if you go to use the player and cannot get the cover open, make sure you've remembered to turn the power on. The cover is designed not to open unless the power is on. Notice that there's a carriage hold-down screw located in this access hole on the side of the player. Whenever you move the player, be sure to engage the carriage hold-down screw by solidly anchoring the spindle and gently turning the screw clockwise until it tightens to a stop. After the player has been moved, you must release the carriage by turning the screw counterclockwise a minimum of 10 turns until the screw completely releases and no further resistance is felt. I'm sure you'll find using your new MCA DiscoVision system to be rewarding and enjoyable. I thank you for watching.